Okay, next speaker, we're going to have Corey Simpson come up with the yearbook. Oh, yeah. the yearbook. Um, our students this year in yearbook did an amazing job. As you can see, here's our yearbook. And yeah, shout out to all our yearbook class. Um, in service learning class, the students got 80 to 100 hours for doing different projects. They were the leaders for our friendship piece. We did four friendship feasts in which every upper bound student was involved, and that's feeding homeless people and people in need. So the service learning class planned the menu, shopped for the food, cooked the food, and then other upper bound students came and greeted and served and cleaned. So actually all the upper bound students need a round of applause because they were excellent. We're really, really, really proud of them and proud of every student. So another project was collecting coins. And this year we collected $280 penny by penny from all the upper bound students. And that money went to help an upper bound student and so we're really proud of all the students for contributing to that. And then another project was collecting tabs for the Ronald McDonald's House. Residential. So at this time, we would like to give out our third annual student um, awards. And we'll start with uh, Megan Simula. Please come on up. academic awards and when we asked people to nominate the academic students of the year we wanted them to look at people who loved learning who went above and beyond the requirements who exemplified what it meant to work hard and to always like a challenge and picking is like my least favorite part of this job I think because there's so many really 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 awesome students here so it was a team decision um, Many of you could have won it because you're all very exemplary. Um, but to talk about the first winner, I would like David Correa to come up. Okay. Um, the following student is a true gentleman, and everybody loves him uh, around here in the program. And I can see why everybody loves him because he's kind to everybody. Uh, he loves people. He uh, he loves spending time with uh, and making new friends and, and hanging out with people. Um, He's not selfish, and he and he gives his time to uh, to his peers, and he's always willing to help everybody. In the classroom, he tries his best as, uh, at everything he does, without complaining. And you can always count on him to ask those special questions, those questions that uh, evidence the deep thinking and uh, the uh, what's going on in, in his way of uh, seeing the world. Uh, he does justice to all his assignments, uh, and that shows, uh, and that's evident in, in the quality of work that he turns in. And uh, one can say that this student uh, validates what we do as teachers, because he uh, he's responsible, he, he goes above and beyond of what is required from him. And uh, for these reasons, and for many more, um, Ivan Escobedo is uh, honor today with this year's academic award. I don't come up here. Thank you. Okay, next, Jeremy Harper. Hi everyone. Um, like has already been, or as has already been said, it was. It's always so hard uh, choosing one or two students. For these awards because there's so many amazing students at this program um, but the second academic award we are giving out this year is for a student who went above and beyond every single day in class who worked on three separate full page spreads as well as other pages in the yearbook um, who every day when students were required to bring in uh, at least five photos, was bringing in 20, 30 photos every single day. Um, a student who, again, just went above and beyond and really helped us make this yearbook what it is this year. Um, so, if we can give an award to Ollie Altman. Okay, and that wraps it up. So, Mike is up. Hi. Hi there. All right, so. As we do on the academic side, uh, when we acknowledge our students, we also like to do that on the residential side. Our program is not just academics, although that's very, very, very important. 
Um, our program is also about helping our students grow, helping our students have new experiences and, and really learn what it means to be part of our family and to represent TRIO and to, to be someone who can show those values and someone who can be a leader for us. So we have a couple of students that the, um, our residential team got together and it was a long list. There were, there were quite a few of us, quite a few of our students who do have those values and represent us well. And I wish we could award one to all, all of you, but uh, we were able to narrow it down and select two. And so we'll have some introductions of those two. So first I will ask uh, Shalini to come up to the stage. This particular student was happened to be in my suite, and I am very honored to have gotten to know her. She always represented our suite well. She took leadership when she wanted. She knew that leadership needed to be taken. She's been an outstanding student, and she just shows her strong personality. Whether it be going to the gym and trying to get stronger, or or trying to have fun and get everybody engaged. So the student that why I want to recognize is Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> we can attest to her passion and her outstandingness. For those that don't know, I had never really heard of TRIO before February. When I first applied to this job, I had no idea what I was getting into. And when I first started it, I needed all the help I could get, whether it be from my supervisors, my coworkers. The last thing I expected was to get it from the student that I supervised. So this young man had all the qualities of a leader. A leader that made sure everything was in order in my absence. I learned from him as much as he, I hope, learned from me. The student I want to recognize is Adam Irons. Woo! I'm really thankful to have Adam in my suite, and it's just been great getting to know you.